All right, don't laugh. This is my first uh, shot at trying to use this software, but I thought it would be useful to learn uh, so that I can uh, uh, show you guys kind of what I'm doing with the laser. So what I have here is Fusion 360, and I've imported all of the STLs that uh, Ryan um, has posted for the, um, what do they call it, the... Uh, 23.5 millimeter conduit. And so I've uh, kind of created my own conduit here um, and uh, added the parts. And in one area, I even added, I believe it's uh, is it over here. I added, um, there it is. I added bearings. I even went to my master car and downloaded the actual bearings uh, so I could get spacing for this mirror mount. But uh, yeah, there's nothing really special here. Uh, anybody could do this uh, that's comfortable with Fusion 360. But here's what I had to do. Uh, first of all, I had to figure out a layout. And as you can see, I've got a, <laughs> I've got a bearing stuck on my table. Uh, I put the laser tube uh, off to the right rather than in back. Most people will have it in back and then they will shoot directly at this first mirror and it will fire down either side, one side or the other, and it will hit second mirror, which is attached to the gantry, and fire across to the third mirror, which then sends it to the work. I chose this part right here because it's the inside of my gantry. So this is where I put my gantry, uh, is on the uh, quadrant three of uh, the crossbar. Uh, Depends on where you like to put things. Some people like to put it over here. Um, and that'd be great, in which case you'd have the laser come down this side instead. Um, you'd have to modify my part uh, and mirror it uh, to get it to work. But yeah. So then what I did, what made this part uh, so simple for me to design is the laser beam, which is mocked up by this uh, line, has to be perfectly parallel to this um, gantry pipe uh, because that's that's where the gantry is going to go. The gantry is going to follow this pipe. So I need to make sure this mirror and this mirror are perfectly at the same height and the same um, Y distance uh, from the front of the table. And that's super easy to do when you put everything into Fusion and you align them. I actually made these mirror parts by measuring the real ones I've got. And when I made this center hole right here, if you've ever worked with Fusion, I made it collinear with the mirror that was over here. Um, so it's going to come out. And then from that, once I put this mirror down, then I made my mirror mounts. So this is the magnetic mirror mounts. Um, I extruded away from this piece right here to give me the place to bolt to. Um, and then I built the little platform underneath it. I built the platform first uh, and then built a mount that went over here. As you can see, it doesn't line up. You get up here. This is where the bolt goes. I was going to have a bolt straight onto it and just be done with it. But uh, it wound up lining up uh, down here a little more. And so I had to drop this down uh, to fit. But really, it doesn't matter how you do this part, as long as this brick right here that you make, where your mirror is, is kept um, uh, where you want it and lined up with mirror two. Uh, then when you print your parts and mount them, if you've built everything with the same version of plastic parts you're going to print, then it's going to come out within a millimeter. I mean, there's always some mechanical slop. Um, but if you build it right, and if you look at the way I did this, um, I'll rotate, rotate up here a bit. Uh, you can see that I tried to keep every part just barely touching. And I mean, I zoomed in really, really close to make sure that everything was centered, nothing was built off. Um, and that gave me the confidence that my final output was going to match the... Um, the uh, real thing. Um, anyway, like I said, this file right here, Ryan has no problem with me sharing because it doesn't give you guys the source code 
to his files. It, they are only the STLs. As you can see, it's got the shadowing artifacts that makes it look like it's caved in, even though it's not. Um, but uh, then I went and said, okay, if I'm going to make a, um, uh, there it is, whoops, there. If I'm going to make a uh, separate Z, so my Z can actually move up and down, then I'm going to have a Z tube and I'm going to uh, line it up with this mirror and then I'm going to build a bracket around it. And that's what I did. If you uh, spin this upside down and we go through here on the bodies and we turn off the table because the table's getting in my way. <laughs> you look straight underneath and this lines up with the down beam. Um, and so then I built this flat profile here the way I liked it and attached it to um, a, I think it's a five millimeter um, cover that I then split. Um, and I could put the distance away from the mounting tool plate exactly where I wanted it to be. Uh, here, let's focus right on the bottom. Uh, so that uh, I didn't have to sit there and gauge that. Now, what I could have done is I could have built in some adjustments. I could have built in, say, um, a rectangular bracket out here that had screw uh, holes in slots that allowed me to slide the tube in and out from the gantry. So that way the tube could slide back and forth and give me some leeway to do adjustments. But I didn't. It's fixed. It can only be in one place and one place only. And it just happens to line up because of the way I built it. But uh, that's kind of what I did. Um, so if this helps explain how I got, and if you look, if you look down the edge there, it's kind of, kind of cool. Um, you see where the mirror or where this beam would need to go. Um, and so you can see where I, I intended it to line up right at the center of the mirror. Turns out it's just a tad off. I, it winds up hitting just a little higher. Um, but then the same thing happened. Oh, by the way, these are my McMaster car uh, steppers too. They actually look pretty close to the, the NEMA 17s uh, that we've got. But uh, when it came to aligning um, these two mirrors, this mirror and this mirror, you notice I don't show the post on here because that's um, inconsequential. I need to build it. If I built this mirror so that it mounts using this mount, perfectly to align with mirror three, um, then I just need to place this mirror in the right place. And I'll be able to keep a parallel beam to this axis um, and, uh, and have everything work out. I didn't actually need to show how this is mounted. And again, as I've mentioned in the other video of the live stuff, this mirror here and the tube, you don't care. You don't care where it's at. I could have dropped this down to the table and had to fire up on an angle at this mirror. No big deal. As long as the mirror fires the um, ins or the uh, the reflective beam straight down uh, that path, uh, you don't care where it came from. Uh, anyway, so this is this is kind of how I used um, fusion to help me build the alignment and saved me a lot of headaches in the. Uh, uh, build out. Let's see if this works out for you guys. Like I said, this is my very first uh, use of OBS Studios. It's free and um, it looks pretty neat.